Hello, and welcome back to The Four Horsemen. My name is Paul. Myself, along with Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, Jeff from 164 Revival, and Xavier from Diecast Show Customs make up The Four Horsemen. Now, one of the things we do is one member of the team selects a casting every month, and we alternate months, and then they pick a theme. Well, this month's theme is this 1980 Chevy El Camino, and the theme itself is shiny paint. Now, there are a lot of other builders that will be participating in this, and there will be a recap video within a few days after the videos are posted, which is the last day of the month, and we will go over everybody's builds. Well, again, we're using this 1980 Chevy El Camino and we're going to go ahead and get started. So grab your favorite adult beverage and let's do it. I've already drilled the car apart. This one was a little bit of a stubborn one. Now, if anyone participates in the builds with us, the idea is to use the same casting and use the same theme. What's really amazing about this is the different types of ideas that people will come up with and in their interpretation of how they want to do a shiny paint theme. Now if you go to the web page or excuse me the YouTube page Four Horsemen Diecast then you'll be able to subscribe to that and there's a schedule on there and that will also be where the videos are posted. I'll put that link in the comments. The base on this car is really good we're going to reuse those real riders. Interior is really cool. We're going to do, um, that's going to be fantastic. Got a nice clear windshield. That'll be great. And we'll have to strip the body. So let's get started. Here we got the body. We're going to go ahead and cover it up in the citrus strip. And then we're going to let it set. Sometimes I let it set for even a day, but I make sure that if it's got a premium paint job like this car does, I'll go ahead and let it set for quite a while. So I dip it in the citrus strip and then I'll put it on this tray that you see behind me there. It's like molasses this stuff. It's really thick. A little chilly in the garage today. Every time we do a four horseman build, like I said, the video is due the last day of the month at six o'clock in the morning. Here we have the car all stripped down. Now, what I'm gonna do is the particular paint that I'm using, I'm using this gloss black from the Redline shop and I'm gonna paint the entire car gloss black and I'm gonna mix it with this hardener activator. Five parts of the paint to one part hardener activator. Now I am gonna do a video here in the very near future about how to mix up the different paints and how they react to uh, applications etc all right we got the paint all mixed up and it's ready to get painted let's go ahead and spray it and I'll get right back to you here in just a moment again using the gloss black and the activator hardener from the redline shop so we're going to use the gloss black paint because we got something special planned well here's how it turned out I've gone ahead and I've made a shape with some uh, pinstriping tape and taped off the rest. I'm going to use this green stuff world paint and this is color shifting paint. This was recommended by a friend of mine over in the UK called Pimp My Diecast. It is a water based paint so we're going to spray it over the top but you got to have a gloss black background in order to make this paint work. That's why we painted the whole car gloss black. Now here's the color shifting paint. My friend Paul over there at Pimp My Diecast in the UK recommended this paint. I had used another brand before, but this stuff here is, is the, the reflective ability to it, the uh, metallic ability, is very, very fine. So far this is pretty good stuff. I like it. And here's some of the different colors to come in the kit. Now I got this kit off of eBay, but... Um, check it out it's it seems to work really really well so this is what I used for my color shifting paint and this is how it turned out after it was done 
Now to protect that color shifting paint, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a light clear coat over the top and protect that just to protect the color shifting paint because the paint on the bottom is a lacquer and the paint on top is a, is a water-based paint. So you got to make sure that it's protected and sealed. Here's where I'm going to go ahead and put the clear coat on. Man, that looks good. Thought I'd try and raise the bar a little bit here on this month's paint job. So we're using this clear coat from the Redline shop along with the activator hardener. Same ratio, five to one. There it is. Let's go ahead and give, give it the clear coat. All right, clear coat is done. That looks absolutely excellent. We're gonna let that sit a minimum overnight before we do anything else with the paint job. But that looks excellent. Let's move on. What I did here after letting it sit overnight is I put some very thin pinstripe around the top of the black that I painted on the car. We're gonna do something with the black down below. So I wanted to leave a black stripe around it so this is what I did to uh, achieve that effect. Now we're going to protect the top half of the car. I want to protect that color shifting paint. So I've got a wider pinstriping tape that I'm going to use to go over the white pinstriping tape that I have in place. Try and bend it as you go. And you're going to have to push it down to make sure that it's, no paint is going to leak underneath there. and just make sure that it's sealed along the other tape that you've got on. It takes a little bit of time to get the use to the, uh, the pinstriping tapes and how they work and everything. So take your time with it, experiment with it, and you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. This is gonna help you change your paint game. Sometimes you gotta press it down a lot to make sure that it's going to adhere. And just before you spray it is a really good time to do one last push to make sure that it's touching the body and not have any gaps in it. Again, we're going to just put this pinstripe and tape over the top of the white tape to help protect the top of the car. You're pulling on the tape as you're bending it around the corner. And make sure you seal it down so it doesn't leak underneath. Just like that. That's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna take some painter's tape and we're gonna protect the rest of the car. Now, lately I've been finding out that this blue tape, although I do use it, I'm gonna go ahead and search for a tape that has a little bit lighter tack to it because sometimes when this blue tape touches itself, it gets incredibly aggressive and you gotta pull on it really hard to get the tape off of the car. And I'm afraid that it's gonna pull some of the paint off too. So I'm gonna go to like the automotive shops and check out and see if there's any other kind of tape that I can use that is not as aggressive. Now, if you know of something that's pretty good like that, then go ahead and do me a favor, leave something in the comments and I'll check it out giving you full credit, of course. Just go ahead and get it taped up, like I said. You wanna protect everything you got so no paint leaks underneath it and ruins the rest of your paint job. That's looking pretty good. Like I said, there's other people participating in the Four Horsemen build, so do a search for Four Horsemen and check them out but we will have a recap video. Now what I'm doing here is I've got this cloth mesh that I got at Joanne Fabrics and I've got it stretched over the bottom portion of the paint job in the black area and I'm spraying a silver from the Redline shop to go through the mesh. Put a really light coat on there, okay? Same thing on the driver's side of the car. Put a real light coat 
You don't want to saturate this because it'll clog the screen. You're trying to get that screen effect in the paint job. And that's pretty much all you need right there. Let's go ahead and take the tape off. Here's the tape off the car. Look at how nice that, that finished up with the little crosshatch pattern of that uh, cloth that I used. Here's the bottom, the base, the yellow rim, or the yellow ring around the tire is going to go really good with the paint job. The colors match. I detailed up the front and the back to include the grill and the lights. Here's the clear windshield. That's the way it was. And here's the interior. That's the way it was. Let's put it together and we'll have our reveal. And here's what I started with. A 1980 Chevy El Camino. We... Uh, this month's here, I believe this was Xavier. I think that he's the one that picked this car. And he's the one that sent it to us. Now check out the schedule from next month. And we'll see what's coming up for that. I believe it is a Dodge Charger. And the theme is Ratty Muscle. But we'll check it out there. Just check the schedule on Four Horsemen Diecast YouTube page. But we took the car apart. We stripped it down. We did a really nice custom paint job on this bad boy. And I was really happy with the way everything turned out. Now, if you have any questions, just go ahead and put something in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. I do uh, apologize for the lateness of this uh, posting of this video because somebody hacked my account and it took me two weeks to get it back. And I haven't felt like doing anything. Now here's the car after it was all done. It's got that beautiful color shifting paint. Look at how nice that turned out. We did the custom paint job on the sides. We sprayed the sides with the uh, cloth mesh to get that ha cross hatch pattern on there. And the car is nice and low and it looks really, really good. I'm very pleased and very happy with the way this turned out. It was a lot of fun. But I want to thank my other fellow Four Horsemen for their support during the time when my page got hacked. It's been uh, incredible. And if you haven't seen the video, check it out, where my Gmail account and my YouTube page got hacked. And it was two weeks of sure hell. But you know what? The page is back. Everything is recovered. Things are going well now. I'm in my happy place again. And I got a lot more builds coming up and a lot more special surprises for you coming up. But thank you so much for everything and uh, participate in next month's build. It'll be great. My name is Paul for the Four Horsemen representing Diecast Graveyard. Please check out the other uh, Four Horsemen members. There's a link in the comments. We'll see you next month and at the recap. Thank you and cheers.